D. Johnson, Minnesota State University. We're looking at diagnostic reading assessments. This video will demonstrate how to use a graded word list, which are the first part of a diagnostic reading assessment, used to diagnose the cause of reading difficulties. It's used, the graded word list, to provide a very rough estimate of students' reading grade level. We use this to inform the next part of the diagnostic reading assessment. Here is one example of graded word lists, primer, first grade, second, third grade, etc. Graded word lists. So we, these are the steps. You want to record each session with an audio recorder. That's so you can go back and listen later. And you want to start below where you think students' reading grade level is. For example, if I think a student is reading at about the second grade level, I'm going to start at the first grade or even the primer. We ask them to simply read through the list of words. We have a copy of that same list in front of us. As the student reads, we put a plus for those identified correctly and a zero or a minus for those not correctly identified, some form. All right, and then at the end, we check the list for the number of errors. Now, you can see right here, we keep going up until we hit the frustrational level. So that tells us, based on the number of errors, is it the independent level, the instructional level, or the frustration level. Independent level, they can read it by themselves, 98% more of the words, 90% or higher on comprehension. Instructional level, 90 to 97% of the words, comprehension, and you can see frustration level right there. So we're using it to find that level. And again, we're using these levels to inform the next part. Now, everything means something. So after we are done, we want to go back and analyze the audio recording. On our list, we want to write down exactly what the student says. That informs me. That tells me how the student is approaching the word and possibly what's giving the student problems. Some of the things you record. How did the student say the word? Did the student recognize the word instantly? Did the student sound out each letter? Recognize word parts? Quickly guess, self-correct, where are their specific patterns? This all tells us something about how the child is processing print. And again, the graded word list is used to inform the next part of the diagnostic reading assessment.